Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm testing this to see if everything is working. I believe we've got all the, uh, the right buttons clicked finally. I'm hoping so. So this evening, we're going to have our evening prayer, Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent. And uh, I invite you all to join me. Um, we keep hearing about people who are disregarding uh, the need to, to be safe. Um, it's a shame. But if you know anybody that's joining a group to play ball or do anything, please have the courage to say something because they're endangering you and themselves and everybody else that they encounter. And uh, we have an individual responsibility. So my friends, we pray our evening prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And we begin with Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent, in the day of evil, he hides me in the shelter of his tent. On a rock, he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me. And I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? I long to look on you, O Lord. Do not turn your face from me. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my help. The father and mother forsake me. The Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your ways. On an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemy's greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him. Hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you protect and strengthen those who hope in you. You heard the cry of your Son, and kept him safe in your tent in the day of evil. Grant that your servants who seek your face in time of trouble may see your goodness in the land of the living. I long to look on you, O Lord. Do not turn your face from me. He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way, the primacy is his. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him, we have redemption the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him, everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him. All were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him, everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, 
the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way, the primacy is his. A reading from the book of Ephesians. Listen carefully, my friends. Be kind to one another, compassionate and mutually forgiving, just as God has forgiven you in Christ. Be imitators of Christ as his dear children. Follow the way of love, even as Christ loved you. He gave himself for us as an offering to God, a gift of pleasing fragrance. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Why are you bent on killing me when I have told you the truth? And now let us share the catechism of Mary. The soul rejoices in the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Why are you bent on killing me when I have told you the truth? And now our intercessions. Blessed be Almighty God who watches over us as a father. He knows all our needs, but wants us to seek first his kingdom. Let us cry to him as his people. May your kingdom come, that justice may reign. Father of all holiness, you gave us Christ as the shepherd of our souls. Stay with your shepherds and the flock entrusted to them. Do not leave this flock with the loving care of the shepherd, without the loving care of the shepherd. Do not leave your shepherds without an obedient flock to follow them. May your kingdom come that justice may reign. Teach Christians to help the weak with loving care and serving them to serve your son. May your kingdom come that justice may reign. Gather into your church those who do not yet believe and help them to build it up by good deeds done for love of you. May your kingdom come that justice may reign. Help us to turn to you for forgiveness and as you forgive us, reconcile us also with your church. May your kingdom come that justice may reign. May the dead pass from this world to eternal life to be with you forever. May your kingdom come, that justice may reign. May you be healing and hope to all those who are struggling, all those who are suffering from the COVID virus. And for those who have died, welcome them home, embrace them, and keep them safe. May your kingdom come, that justice may reign. And together, let us pray in the words our blessed Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father of mercy, hear the prayers of your repentant children who call on you in love. Enlighten our minds and sanctify our hearts. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wish you all a good night and a peaceful rest.